Okay, another video. I think I've decided, I'm not sure, maybe, I might share these videos. I've got lots of friends wishing me well, family, uh, how are you? And obviously with this bloody coronavirus, no one's gonna be going anywhere, which is quite handy for me at the moment. But um, yeah, if I do a little video, maybe it will help somebody if in the same situation as me, I don't know. Um, and it's a way of just connecting with some of those people who are wondering how I'm getting on. So I'm kind of like two stroke three days into moisture withdrawal uh, and it's not fun at all. But to understand, I thought I hadn't really talked about topical steroid withdrawal which is what I'm going through and um, I thought I'd touch a bit on how I got here. If I'm going to do a few more videos you might as well know how the hell I've got into this mess. So I've had eczema all my life one way or another, different things, steroid creams forever on and off. And they've always, they've always been absolutely fine. They've helped me get out of a rut. Oral steroids when things got too bad, uh, light treatments helped me, like the medical sunbeds, loads. Um, and then I would be all right for a little while, but every few years something major would blow up. I've had something called Pomphilix before, which is millions of little blisters on your hands. Fortunately, I don't have that anymore because that's fucking hideous and uh, was wearing a cotton glove. Lots of you will remember those cotton gloves because I got the piss taken out of me relentlessly for that. The Michael Jackson thing still carries on. So uh, I've got rid of all of that, but it's been an ongoing theme in my life. This time round, um, things got a bit different around Christmas and I'd been using, I'd asked for a referral back to dermatology because obviously you have to go back into the system. It takes oh, fucking ages, 10 weeks or whatever and um, I was using steroid creams almost every day, not every day, but quite a lot, which is not what it tells you to do on the label. But I had become complacent. I was familiar with them. They helped me out. I couldn't manage without them, but then they stopped working. So I have to use a bit more, cover a bit more. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just getting out of control. So by the time I got to dermatology, I'd been using them pretty much every other day on larger areas of my body for about four months. And when I explained that to her, she kind of went, uh, well, you shouldn't be doing that, stop it. Taper down is her words. And I asked her then, because at that point my whole body was flared red, and I'll try and get some photos if I feel brave enough on here, bright purple, big, massive purple bits on my body that were just boiling hot uh, and yes so she went off to the, get the doctor I needed oral steroids which I don't I didn't argue with it gave me some relief for a little while uh, things just went worse and worse and then they considered did I have sepsis so we got another doctor in who then got his iPad out and started taking pictures of me and then got another doctor who then said do you mind if I get my iPod out iPad and they all took pictures of me and then I had some biopsies which just came back as inflammation, eczema. <clears throat> which is good because I was worried it was going to be lupus or something other, other else that they'd suggested. Um, and I don't know, I started doing my own research and I came across, these symptoms are so specific, this is like nothing I've ever had with eczema. Now I've had eczema for 40 years, this is not eczema that I know. Um, massive red patches, the flaking of the skin, like it's just... It is very specific and nothing like, like nothing I've ever had. So I found this topical steroid withdrawal and it fitted with everything that I've just said. I don't know why, but the NHS don't seem to be very uh, keen to admit that this is an issue. All of the labels say you must not use it for longer than this. Don't use it on your face, don't use it on thin skin. But they don't tell you what will happen if you do. And then now I'm coming to them saying I think this has happened because I did. Um, I don't know, they just don't, they don't seem to want to acknowledge that that's a problem, but there you go. The Exodus Society definitely do, and have done for a few years. So here we are, anyway. I have no, I don't take any steroid creams now. I've been on steroid, oral steroids for three months on a tapered down dose, and I took, this has been building now since January, and I took my last one two and a half weeks ago. And it was only on five milligram, but I didn't think it would make a difference, but it has. So I am now in um, oh, topical steroid withdrawal. I've tried the creams, 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 creams. 
Um, it's just, it's like putting acid on my skin. So I have read up, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I, I think I am, about moisture withdrawal, where you put your body, you don't have put any creams on. You only bath twice a week and um, you convince, you know, you kind of kickstart your body into making some oils for itself because it's come reliant on the moisturiser. And I do believe that, that there's an element of truth in that. I have to believe that, otherwise I wouldn't be putting myself through this. Um, so yeah. So yesterday, you only did two baths a week. Yesterday I did a dead sea salt bath, which, uh, and the baths have to be quite cold as well. You're not meant to bath for long, which you don't when it's that bloody cold. So I, uh, yeah, did a dead sea salt bath. And actually, at the time, it was stung. Afterwards, I thought, oh my God, what have I done? As your, body, as your skin shrinks to like five sizes too small. <laughs> but by the evening, I could see that there was a, when I say improvement, it was a tiny bit less red and less flaky, so I'm taking that. So I'm like three days in, now my skin on my face has decided to join in, which I hate that, like I mean, anything but your face, isn't it? You know, you could cover everything else, but I have to just make the fucking best of it. I washed my hair today and I straightened it, kind of, just to try and make myself feel better. <clears throat> my memory's not very good. Uh, it's a bit Alzheimer-y. <laughs> So I can go, like I went to make Sunny a sandwich and just got totally distracted. <laughs> and then I forgot to put the cucumber in. I've got a funny story about Sunny actually, with all this coronavirus going on and everyone's like, ooh, are you coughing? Have you got a temperature? He started sneezing this week before school. I was like, for fuck's sake. So I need a thermometer. I never take their temperatures. I must be, that's my parenting really. But anyway, I went off, found, eventually found a thermometer in a drawer miles away stuck it under his arm, took his temperature, it was all fine. And as I was standing there, I thought, why have, where has this thermometer come from? And I remembered, it was from when I had bitches, when I had a, a, a boxer that had puppies. You have to take the temperature to see if they're gonna go into a whelp or not. And I cleaned it, obviously, but yeah. That was the last time that thermometer had been used, so I, I haven't told Sunny that. Anyway, didn't have a temperature, so we're all all right. But it doesn't matter now, because they're all off school from Monday, so I've got to be a school teacher as well now. I don't know how I'm going to remember all this, you know. Although I did notice yesterday, Boris Johnson, whenever anyone asks him a question, he writes it down with a pen and paper then before they've even finished, and I think that that's the way for me to go. I think I'm just going to write everything down. Try, yes, what sandwich do you want? Okay, cucumber, mayonnaise and ham. Get to the kitchen, at least I've got a fighting chance of getting the sandwich right. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. I'm not sure. Hope you're all okay. <laughs>